Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Um, I don't know when you will be watching this video, so I'm not sure what to wish. So I'm uh, wishing you this three days. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So uh, I'm from Madhuro Public School, I'm going to you know, explain you, uh, uh, take the subject uh, uh, science for class 6. So this is going to be your uh, science textbook and uh, I'll be taking it uh, further for your class. Okay. So open this uh, first topic which is uh, food. Where does it come from? This is going to be your first chapter. I'm going to just go through this chapter. I'll be explaining very briefly first. Okay. So science. Let us, let us brief you about science. Science is a wonderful subject which uh, you know has uh, theories and answers for every question which is happening in this universe so if no science no world if no science there's nothing so uh, for everything there will be a scientific reason behind uh, whatever our uh, parents you know or uh, the ancestors say that uh, you know having a uh, haldi on our uh, uh, feet or something wearing you know anklets to our uh, uh, female you know feet or you know having bangles to our things you know all these are having you know scientific reasons behind okay so uh, science is everything in this world without science there's no you know logical world so for the first lesson first lesson food where does it come from so let me take you through that So this is going to be our first lesson and uh, this is going to be your first lesson. So so far you are actually you know uh, so far you actually you know uh, up to class five you have taken few uh, book sets which are you know having a textual explanation. Uh, but now we are going through NCRT set textbook. So uh, we'll be you know going through the activities. You'll be taking in activities uh, device. So you'll be performing and you'll be having um, uh, explanation and you'll be taking it activities wise. Now, food. Why do we need food? Every day we'll be going, we'll be having some food, right? So when we woke up early in the morning, we'll be having some water and later we'll be having some uh, you know, breakfast like idli, dosa, chapati or you know oat meals or something like this we have a variety of uh, uh, breakfast uh, foods and in the afternoon we will be taking in some uh, lunch like you know many of us South Indians will be having rice and in that time uh, some uh, uh, dal, curries, sambar, rasam like we will be having many different kinds of uh, food varieties and in the evening snacks we will be having you know uh, fruits or uh, 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 you know some spices or you know some uh, cereals all these kind of stuff we'll be having in this nice time so in the later in the night we'll be having dinner 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 again some rice some kind of dal or some vegetables some uh, you know uh, uh, chapati uh, dosa or idli something so apart from these eatables we'll be having some drinkable drinking you know food right so like like milk and uh, you know, we'll be having some uh, eggs every day, in like in the dinner or lunch, and on Saturdays or Sunday, Sundays, we'll be having you know meat also sometimes, right? So chicken, mutton, fish, prawns, that kind of food also we are having. So where actually does the all these varieties of food come from? We'll be having it three different varieties of uh, you know sources. Number one, plants, obviously. Number two, animals. So I don't think apart from these two, we'll be having, we'll be getting out know, food. So from plants, we'll be having rice, veggies, spices, cereals, etc. And from animals, we'll have milk, you 
घी These are called, you know, milk and uh, milk products. Apart from this, from our milk, we'll be getting in eggs, meat, this kind of things, right? So these are the varieties we'll be eating in daily, as part of our food: rice, vegetables, spices, cereals, etc. Rice and vegetables will be having in vegetables and leaves. Tortora, gongora, methi, all these things, spinach, all these things will be having in our uh, daily, you know, uh, uh, curry spot, right? So, apart from this, from uh, sales, shabatti will be made. Many of uh, uh, North Indian people will be having shabatti in their lunch or dinner, uh, maybe in breakfast too. And, uh, you know, all these things will be eating in every day, right? Stop. So these are the varieties of uh, you know food we get from uh, plants: uh, rice, vegetables, leaf, spices, cereals, fruits, etc. From uh, animals we get eggs and meat, milk, ghee, curd, etc. Right? So what are the plant? What are the parts of the plants we'll be eating in every day? Right? These two are the sources. As far as I know, these two are the sources from where we'll be getting in food. Okay? So now let's say. Parts of the plant will be have uh, getting food from. So as we all know, if let's say we have Let's say this is a plant, okay? And now, let's say this is a plant. This plant is divided into two parts. One is root system, and the other one is shoot system. So, what are the plant parts we'll be eating in us eating in every day in our food? These are called leaves. Branches, fruit, flowers, this is called stem, and this part is called roots. So tell me one example, tell me one thing out of all these parts what we do not eat. We'll be eating every part of the plant, like you know, flowers. So let's say we'll be eating in broccoli. All right, fruits. We'll be eating in many parts. I'm writing over here for your convenience. Flowers like you know broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, etc. Now let us go with the fruit part. All of us uh, know know about this very well, like brinjal, drumsticks, drumsticks, lady fingers, etc. And you know leaves. Let us go through this leaves part. Methi, spinach, gongura, etc. All these leaf uh, vegetables, like you know, tawkara, gongura, whatever we eat in daily lives, you know, uh, in a dal, all of those are called leaves. And now stem banana. In uh, Tamil 
Nadu, Karnataka, and Kerala, many of them is, you know, many of them will be cooking with uh, banana stems and roots, stems, roots, flowers, everything. Right? So now let's get into roots part. In Andhra also many people will be, you know, cooking food with uh, stems of stems, roots. kind of vegetables which are part of plants food part right see in common we have flowers fruits and leaves and stem roots all of the parts of a plant will be eating it that is about plants so let's come into a few other sectors of food which will be oil seeds. Where do we get oil from? If you say in the in home when we are cooking food, especially curry or a curry, what do we need? What, what kind of oils we need, which is called you know edible oil, edible and seedable oil. Okay. So we generally use sunflower, sunflower oil, groundnut oil. olive oil and palm leaf oil generally these are the oils which we use uh, in our daily life so where does the sunflower oil come from so many of us uh, know that sunflower is a flower for a flower of a tree flower of a plant from which the seeds will be collected From sunflowers, we will get seeds, from seeds we will be getting in oil after a process, processing groundnuts. We will be getting in groundnuts of the you know, root part of a plant and from that plant we will be collecting these groundnuts and we will be going through some process and you know, we will be getting in oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil is a fruit of a plant. Olive is a fruit. From that fruit, we'll be getting in oil. Palm oil, oil the same way. We'll, it is a it is a seed system which will from which we'll be getting in oil. Okay. So these are the kinds of oil. Uh, these are the major majorly we use this oil. And now seeds. This is a seed, right? So like this, we'll be using it. We'll be getting in oil. So what are the seeds? The seeds are stop. In the evening snacks or in the morning snacks or breakfast, many people used to eat sprouts. So what do we need to do to get the sprouts? Let's say munda. Let's call it munda or Chana. So this kind of fruit, this kind of you know seeds, seeds will be you know soaked in water and will be leaving it aside for a night. Overnight it will be soaked, and you know you can see a white colored small small you know spots coming in from these fruits, from these uh, seeds. Those are called sprouts, right? After this. This is what we'll be getting this kind of many varieties, whatever we eat, we get from plants only. And now getting into the animals part. Majorly we know about eggs, chicken and mutton. Eggs, chicken, meat. Okay? All these kind of things we'll be getting in from animals. Right? So these are the food varieties actually you know we get from uh, uh, the food resources. See, chicken meat or uh, chicken or you know the meat which we get from uh, the uh, the uh, uh, goat 
goat or goat family which we eat meat right so all these are getting from plants only right this chicken or this meat will be eating plants and then they grow see whatever we eat almost all of them are coming from plants so plants are the plants if no plants we have no life so let's get into the you know variety of people variety of you know food now we come to know food varieties and where do they, where do we get the get them from right so now let's classify people or animals depending on their food habits we have three varieties Eats everything. Omnivores actually eats everything. Humans also comes under. Humans also come under this group. Only non-veg lions, let's say lions, tigers. Only plants, sheep, cows, goats, etc. These are called. According to their you know, food habits, we can divide. Uh, we can classify in three in these three types: herbivores, vegetarians who eats only plants, sheep, cows, goats, etc. Omnivores eats everything. Humans comes under this uh, omnivores group. Carnivores who eats you know animals, non-veg food, right? Lions, tigers, etc. These are these are the three varieties of uh, you know uh, we can divide, we can classify into these three. Okay, omnivores, herbivores, and carnivores. So first, let us know. Uh, I give you an example to cook how, uh, the ingredients and you know how to cook food. First of all, let us know about uh, the you know rice. 